What's up, traders? Uh, closing out the day is around 10.30 on uh, February 13th. We have had pretty crazy activity. Like uh, yesterday, we had two movers over 200%, and today we actually have th four movers over 100%. I ended up making money in DBG, BGLC, uh, which was, you know, the only stock that was over VWAP, um, the only stock that was over VWAP and it was, you know, before the market opens. That stock, I was buying it like 120, it actually hit 220 um, and uh, I ended up making a huge profit on it. It was like 4200 on it. And, um, you know, I was down at one point, like 10, 15 cents, and it was very uncomfortable to hold that position. And uh, the other stock that I did buy was uh, I was trying to trade, you know, DBGI multiple times. But, you know, when I saw DBGI was at four dollars and then I didn't buy it and then I was at eight dollars and throughout the day, the stock consolidated down to six dollars and then we came back up to thirteen dollars. So. It was a, a very um, nutty morning, but, you know, traded it correctly. Um, trade. I think I traded correctly. So this is uh, this is DBGI. DBGI uh, came into my radar over here somewhere, right about here, because it had good earnings. And I, I didn't even think twice to go long here at 470. Soon enough, the stock spikes to $10, and I'm, like, excited to you know, go long. And sadly, the stock uh, consolidated, and only after, like, in the middle of the day, we had a pre-market high of the daybreak on this pre-market stock. But, you know, this was a, this was the harder one. You know, I'm going to go through the easier one. Uh, BGLC was the easier one. Uh, BGLC, you know, when I looked, when I looked and I sat down this morning, I, I really did, uh, you know, I had a really good bias. You know, I had... Like I had BGLC as a buy and DBG DBGI as a buy, you know. So I had two tickers that I was interested in buying, and two tickers that I was interested in shorting, but I didn't short them. But I'll, I'll show you how all those worked out. So my bias was correct in BGLC to go long. Uh, my entry was like 120 over here, and me and and eventually I only had like 120 over here. Soon enough, it hits 224. I'm very, I was very happy of the push over here we had in DB, uh, BGLC. I mean, we technically did have some huge resistance at 160, 223. So, um, I mean, we hit that that uh, that resistance, the daily daily resistance, and we kind of flopped around. So, not a lot of other activity. I mean, as a long trader, I would have to say that, you know, DBGI was a great long. Uh, I mean, from 4 up to 13. As a long trader, BGLC has been a pretty nice long from like a dollar to like 220. And like, you know, the 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 stocks that I was interested in short that I mentioned in my live stream were these tickers OMH. I was interested in going short OMH because um, you can see so that in the pre-market we were having trouble holding six-ish. And once these, you know, once you break this downtrend and you come under VWAP, you know, you it's just it's just gonna come back up. So we came back up to this 565 resistance here on the daily, and we rejected hard. So that was like the idea to short that that area. So we came right back up to 565 and then we hit 565 again and soon enough. But, you know, this was not that easy to tell the truth. Actually, ARBB would have been a much easier chart. ARBB is very simple. You know, you, you have to just short the daily resistance. Uh, 452 was the daily resistance. As you can see at 452, we, we have a humongous block of 100 million shares at 452 over here. And, um, you know, we came right, we opened at like $4. We spiked to that, you know, short the daily resistance at 450. You know, that 100 million on the daily came into effect. And soon enough, if I shorted that 450, I mean, I would have been up a lot of money because that went down to 250. 450 to 250. I mean, this was a missed opportunity as a short seller. Um, but, you know, since I traded them primarily long, Today, 
you know, I didn't really want to mess with the shorts, but this was would have been a home run, a huge home run opportunity, ARBB to short this one. Uh, BGLC was a great home run opportunity to go long. And um, the, the next ticker, you know, um, what was the next ticker? Uh, BGL, BGLC was a great, and DBGI, a great opportunity to go long. So, you know, this market has been pretty hot. Uh, you know, I just, um, you know, tried to not burn out, I would have to say. Like, I have, you know, very strict rules what to do in a hot market, what to do in a cold market. Um, but right now, we're definitely in a hot market. We have four, we had like, we had like four movers over 100% this pre-market. And, um, you know, we're definitely in a hot market. So, uh, you know, even though the S&P 500, we're down like 500 points. So they're very volatile, very moody, but you know you can make um, a lot of money in this market if you're if you studied and you're able to capitalize on this place and you know listen to you know some of my ins and outs of this market. But overall, lots of opportunity that's for sure. Anyway, uh, right now it's around ten thirty-seven, and I'm wrapping it all up. It was a good trading day. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was very, um, it was still challenging, uh, overall, you can see some of my trades here, uh, some of my trades here, you know, in my VGLC, 125 long out at 182, DVGI in 134 out at 1169, I mean, even though these tickers were volatile, it was very easy to lose money and and be red and be careful on your side. And even BGLC, when I was buying it at 120, at one point it dipped to a dollar before making this huge move to 220. So it's not really all, you know, rainbow and butterflies in the stock market. It's not. Uh, but, you know, you can you can learn to what to avoid, what to be long, what to be short have the right bias, you know, have the right stop. I mean, um, I, I still do think ARBB would have been a great short at 450. That would have been, that would have made a lot of money for me. But other than that, uh, it's been a fun time trading with you guys and uh, chatting about what's moving from 8 o'clock till about, uh, I think it was 10 or 40 now. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Make sure you take advantage of my, you know, private Discord. And, uh, you know, hopefully this uh, market continues on. And we'll be making money um, each and every day. Try not to burn out. And uh, see, you all, um, see you all in my next video. Probably uh, bright and early at 8, 8 o'clock usually when I start out my day. Peace out, everybody. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And see you all later.